Hello everyone, this is going to be a super short video all about using the slice tool in Cricut Design Space. I noticed in my comments that several of you were having trouble with the slice tool being grayed out. So I decided to make this quick video and hopefully it helps you out. The slice tool allows you to cut out shapes from other shapes. It's helpful when you want to create unique shapes that are not included in Cricut Design Space. You can also use it to get rid of excess pieces. And don't worry, I'm going to show you examples of what I'm talking about. But the most important thing to remember is that you can only slice through two layers. If you have more than two layers selected, then the slice tool will be grayed out. Again, you can only slice through two layers. So basically, slicing is like using a cookie cutter. I'm going to go ahead and insert a square and a star. And let me change the colors just so we can see everything. Okay, so in this scenario, the square is going to act like our dough. So it's all rolled out and it's ready for us to cut out cookies. And let's pretend that this star is our cookie cutter. So to slice, what you're going to do is place the star or whatever shape you're cutting out over the other shape which in this case is a square. And once you have it where you want it, you're going to drag your mouse and select both. And if you look over here on the Layers tab, you see that the star and the square are selected. And the way you know that they are selected is because it's grayed out here. So now, if you look down here at the bottom, you see that you have the option to slice. So you would go ahead and click on that. And now you would get your cookie cutter, which is the original one. Your new piece, which would be like our cookie if we were making cookies. And then this is our leftover dough, again, if we were making cookies. So now you could get rid of the slice result or the original because they are the same thing. And that is how you slice. Now the slice tool is nice if you want to get rid of some excess, for example. Let me go ahead and insert a square and a heart. And again, let me just change the colors just so we can see everything better. So here I have my heart and let's say that I wanted to cut out a section in the middle of the heart so I could put my name in there. So if you see, if I drag it over, it's in the back. But what I want to do is right click and send to the front. Now it is on top, just like if we we're cutting cookies. I'm sorry if I keep repeating that, but that's the best analogy I can come up with. Okay, so let's say that this is where I want to slice. Again, I would highlight both by dragging my mouse over. I can see that they are both selected because it's gray over here in the Layers tab. And I can go ahead and slice. And then I could just get rid of all this excess. Just like that. And then I can go ahead and add my text. This is just an example. And let me zoom in here. If you can see, I have these little edges right here. Now let's say I wanted to get rid of those. 
will there's no erase button where I could just erase it out so what I can do is take a shape so let me just do a square and shrink it down and place it right there let me really zoom in so you guys can see so I want to get rid of this little piece right here so I would place this over and highlight both and I can see that this layer is selected so I have the square and my heart selected and then I'm just going to hit slice and now if I lift it I can see that it did cut it out So I would be able to get rid of this now and this little piece and this little piece and now it's a straighter line instead of that edge coming down. So this is why the slice tool is useful because you can get rid of pieces that you don't want. Now, a lot of you have been having trouble and saying that the slice tool is grayed out. So let me give you an example of that. So here you see I have three shapes. Now let's say I wanted to attach these. So I would highlight both and then hit attach. So now that's one piece and if you see it moves now let's say I wanted to cut a star in the square so I would send this to the front place this wherever I want to slice and then highlight both now you can see that when I do that the star the heart and the square are all highlighted and the slice tool is grayed out and again that's because you can only slice through two layers at a time so even though these two are attached the heart and the square it still is three layers so i have the star the heart and the square So if I wanted to slice this star into this square, I would have to first select the heart and the square and hit detach. And my star, I would, I can right click it here and send it to the front. And now, if I go and highlight both, I can see that only two layers are selected, the star and the square. So now I can slice. So I would go ahead and slice it, remove all this excess, so just hit the X. There is my star cut out. And if I wanted these to be attached like they were, then I would just highlight both and hit attach. So that's the little tricky part of Cricut Design Space that you can only slice through two layers at a time. So if you're having this issue of the slice tool being grayed out, then it might mean that you have more than two layers selected. Overall, I think the slice tool is a very helpful 
option that Cricut Design Space offers. I wish that it didn't have that stipulation of only being able to cut through two layers at a time. Hopefully in the future Cricut changes that but for the time being unfortunately this is how it is. I hope that you liked this video and that you found it helpful. If you guys want to see more basic videos like this one, let me know in the comments down below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, I would love it if you subscribed. Also, I just want to let you guys know that if I sound a little off, it's because I'm going through a lot right now. There's been a death in my family and I'm trying to slowly get back into things. So if you do notice that, you'll know why. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you all in my next video.